Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm going to wait a little bit um, to see who shows up and also to see if my video is showing up here. Hi, Marianne. Glad you could join us or me. <clears throat> I'm going to start this video in a few minutes. I'm waiting for it to pop up over here on my... There we go. It's up. Okay. Good. Hi, Donna. I'm going to wait a few minutes. I have it up here on my... Aha! There it is. Haha. Okay. On my computer so that I can answer any questions that you have while I'm broadcasting. Hi, Tina. Long time no see. Can't wait to visit you in my schoolie. <laughs> Um, hey, oh, cool, Dave and Leslie, yes, can't wait to visit you also with my schoolie and to see your schoolie and how it's changed over the last couple of months. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be, I don't have my book, I ordered it and it hasn't come in yet. Um, let me turn my sound down here for those people who might call. There we go. Okay. Hopefully my husband won't call me in the middle of this, but... I haven't got my book from Amazon yet, so I have printed out a copy I carry with me because I absolutely love this book. It is so, so much life. It's so life changing. So I'm not going to teach chapter one today because chapter one is basically showing you how and why we need um, to take communion and, and how we can be healthy. And I'll probably videotape that and then save it and Put it on later on but today i am going to share with you my favorite i have several favorite chapters in my new book which i haven't gotten yet from amazon so i'm waiting for it to come any day now uh, so i'm using my own printed version uh, the chapter i'm going to teach on is life-changing it changed my life it is amazingly changed my life and this particular chapter it was really hard to name these chapters because I kept wanting to call it the blood. But um, as I was writing this over the last year and some, um, I kept saying it was coming at Christmas, coming at Christmas, and I just didn't get it yet. I didn't have the information. And then all of a sudden, uh, this coronavirus thing started happening and God started really pushing me. He says, get the book out, get the book out, get it out now, because now is the time that people need to have this information to get out of fear and to change their life. They need to know the power of the body and the blood of Jesus and the power that they have inside of them. So I went into isolation, you know, when they started the lockdown thing and I started just instead of going, well, actually it was before they did. I started not going to hockey practice, um, hockey, uh, all my hockey stuff. I started not going to the doing things that I normally do. And I just started writing and writing and writing because I basically had an outline. I had scriptures, but I had the rest of my head and I had to get it onto the paper and God pushed me. It's actually out there published now, but um, here's the thing. God is still talking to me. I am still writing. I'm still going to add another chapter to it. So here comes my kitty cat. I don't want to have to lock you out. Get off the table. <laughs> Shoo. Okay, there she goes. I lock my dogs out so they don't make noise. So anyway, so this is chapter two, the truth about the trees in the garden. And once you get this, your life, will, I promise you, your life will be changed. It is so cool. And if you have any questions or comments, um, uh, go ahead and write them because I have my uh, computer here and uh, I will answer them afterwards probably, or I might be able to answer them while I'm doing this. Uh, got sidetracked here. Uh, what was I saying? Okay. Anyway, this revelation uh, I'm going to not go word for word. I'm just going to use this as an outline because I can, there's so much more and so much deeper uh, that I want to share with you um, about this. And I'm going to have to try to stay a little bit on track because I tend to go in many different directions because <laughs> I love doing live videos and live TV and radio. And I love uh, sharing this stuff with you guys because it gets me so excited and I know it'll get you excited. So one of the biggest things... The biggest lies that have been taught 
in the Christian world is about the tree, the trees in the garden. The, the, the one tree was called the tree of life. Cat. The other tree was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Okay. A lot of people think, okay, that the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God said, if you eat from this tree, that you will die. Okay. So the, I call it the tree of life and the tree of death. Okay. And this is my closet back here and my kitty and my hockey bags are back there and my kitty is climbing. So I hope you don't hear all the noise she's making back there. She's climbing on the stuff. So first of all, when you realize there's two different trees in the garden and God gave us free choice. In fact, today when I was going for a walk, he said something to me that I want to share with you. I was going for a walk and I was going, I was saying, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, you're so awesome. I started, I worship you. And he stopped me. He says, I would rather be loved than worshiped. And I went, whoa. I said, yeah, so would I. And he said, when you worship something, you put it up high here on the platform and it's distance. It's, it's, it's in a distance. It's not related to you. It, it's just something you admire and something you worship. But when you love Jesus, he, this is what he said to me. When you love me, you have a relationship with me. And that's what he came. He came to give us life. He came to give us fellowship with God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus. He came to give us relationship. And so I thought that was really cool that he says, I don't want you to worship me. I want you to love me. I want I want to know you. I want to have a relationship, fellowship every day, included in every part of our life. So I thought that was really cool. So the biggest thing that I have learned in writing this book, that death is not God's will. And we have come to accept everything in life as God's will. Okay. For instance, okay. For instance, getting old and dying, that is death. Your eyes get old, your bones get old, your blood gets old, your heart gets old and you die. That is not God's will. That is death. And everyone says, Oh, well, everyone has to die. Well, no, you don't. And someday we'll get to a place where we don't. The Bible says, if you look at it, um, Enoch got translated. Uh, a bunch of people got translated. They got taken to heaven without dying. There, uh, There's all kinds of stories. Anyway, so death, number one thing that I really, 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 really want you to know is death in any shape, form, or size is not God's will. Okay. So in the, the trees of life, Okay. Um, okay. And here's another thing to think about. Oh my goodness. I'm going on rabbit trail. I can write this down <laughs> so I don't forget. Um, two things, if I can remember them and go back to it. Okay. Two things. The very first thing that got us into trouble is food. Okay. Food. Okay. Food. I, I'm not even going over stuff in my book now. I'm getting revelation and direction the very first thing that got us in trouble was food okay now what is killing us today if you dig and do your homework you will find out that almost every sickness and every disease is coming from what we eat and what we don't eat gmo and toxics and pollutants and chemtrails and and inoculations everything is coming from what we put in our body okay what we inhale through our skin through our breath and put in our mouth from food nourishment okay nourishment okay um so food got us into trouble we ate from a tree that was the wrong fruit and when you bury fruit in dirt it when the seed produces more fruit so when we were in the garden and we ate fruit from the tree of death it produced death in us and everything under the our authority and dominion it produced death in us Okay. And so we've come to going back to the very beginning. I have some stuff to get sidetracked on there. Um, so fruit caused the problem. Food caused the problem. It was, it had seed in it and it was meant to multiply and that's exactly what it did. Okay. The other problem was, or, or the solution was eating. Jesus said, eat my blood, drink my blood and eat my flesh. Okay. The only thing in this whole earth only thing in this whole earth that is not contaminated that is not alive under 
the death cycle of the earth is Jesus. So when you take his body and his blood, when you drink his blood and eat his body, you are eating from the fountain of youth. You are eating life, okay? Because he's not contaminated. For example, I am, not, I'm just teaching. I'm not even doing this chapter at the moment because I just get so excited. Communion is the only thing in the world, in our whole com world that is not under the death cycle. Okay, so you need to take communion. So let me get back to this. Okay, fruit. God said in the beginning that every tree produced fruit after its kind. So when we ate from the tree of death, we produced death. Okay, after its own kind. So we produced death in us. Okay. Um, okay, let me get back to here. Uh, okay, so the same fruit that we ate from the tree of death produced death in us produced death in everything that was under our authority and dominion which is uh nature uh animals the animal kingdom nature kingdom the weather all this stuff which satan is now the god of this earth and that was our title he stole that from us by tricking us into eating from the tree of death and here's another very important thing for you to realize um i don't believe god created the tree of the knowledge of good and evil because it's a tree of death. I believe that when Satan was kicked out of the heavens and he came to earth and God created the tree of life, Satan can only copy, he can't make anything original. He copied it by creating the tree of death. And so I'm going to go over what the Bible says about death. Um, the fruit of the tree of death was death. The seed from eating the tree of knowledge of good and evil was the seed of death okay um in john 12 24 it says most assuredly i say to you unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies it remains alone but if it dies it produces much grain so that is what jesus did jesus was the seed incorruptible seed that died and produced fruit us when we ask jesus to be our lord and savior he comes into our heart and we are a new seed, incorruptible seed, a life-giving spirit. We are no longer a dead, uh, reproducing death. We are a life-giving spirit. Okay. Um, Jesus said the seed had to die. So he, he said he had to die so he could bring forth many sons. Okay. So we have a new seed in us. He is the vine and we are the branches. And that's John 15, 5. He came to give us life and to give it to us more abundantly. John 10, 10. Now listen to this. This is life-changing wine. Think about this. 1 Corinthians 15, 26. The last enemy, 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 the last enemy that will be destroyed is what? What? Tell me what? What is the last enemy that will be destroyed? Death. Death is an enemy. So why in the world would you think that in the Garden of Eden that God created for us and told us to have dominion, authority, okay, and subdue. Why? Because there was a tree of death in there and he didn't wipe it out because he gave us free choice. He could have wiped it out, but he's a fair and just God, okay? So the last enemy that will be destroyed is death. Death is an enemy, Death of a marriage, death of a relationship, death of a husband and wife, male and female, death of family, death of your business, death of your ministry, death of your eyes, death of your body aging, colds, viruses, coronavirus, sickness, disease, death, dying in any way, shape, and form is not of God. Death is our enemy, okay? And that is the last enemy that will be destroyed, okay? The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. John 10.10. 10. Kill, steal, and destroy. Death. A cold is mm, in the death cycle. Everything that we came to accept as normal is in the death cycle. Okay? Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, death will be swallowed up in victory. The wages of... Okay. The wages of sin is death okay now one of my other chapters in the book goes over how you are no longer 
under the death cycle, but you're conscious, your, your, um, your conscious brings you under the death cycle. And that is really life transforming information. And that's in the later chapters, but you can get these, these, uh, my book for free on my website. I'll put the link in there anyway. Okay. I am just on page. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just get so excited. Um, okay. Death, um, 1 Corinthians 15, 54 says, so when this corrupt, for, for when this corruptible has put on incorruptible and this mortal has put on immortal, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Okay. Jesus is the word. The word is called the seed, the incorruptible seed, and it produces after its own kind, <laughs> life. Okay. Um, let's take a closer look at the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And God... And out of the ground, God made the Lord, God made the Lord, God, okay. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the eye, okay, good for food, okay, oh, uh, good for food, okay. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which produced death, was not good for food, Okay, so right there it shows you God did not create the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Yet everything in the world is based on the knowledge of good and evil. Okay, first we have to consult God and ask him. Okay, notice the separation of the trees. The tree of the life also mm. was in the midst of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Okay, so he separated those sentences from each other and those trees from each other. They were separate. Okay. And then notice in Genesis 1, 29, he says, And God said, See, I have given you every herb and yielding seed which is on the face of the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed, it shall be for it shall be to you for food. God gave them every good tree. Okay, um, and out of the ground the Lord God made every tr tree to grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. Mm, God did not make the tree of death. Okay. <laughs> and then Genesis 131, then God saw that everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And he just told you that the enemy is death. And there are two trees in the garden, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which produce death because every seed produces. There's no reason to have a seed unless it produces. And the tree of knowledge uh, and the tree of life, which is. Jesus is the tree of life in us now because we are a life-giving spirit. Okay. Um, notice that he did not say, uh, okay, uh, okay, when he talks about the tree of death, he says, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou eatest of it, thou shalt surely die. Okay. Notice he did not say the day, any day, tomorrow, or 3,000 years from now. When I'll let you eat from it and you won't die then. No, he said, when you eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you will die. He didn't give you, he didn't say, um, when you eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, when I decide that you are smart enough or when I decide that I did everything and now you can eat, he said, you will die. Okay. So trees are with fruit are for nourishment. And that was not our nourishment. He did not give that to us. He did not create the tree of death and put it on the earth and say, Oh, let's see if you can be tempted. It's like some people say, well, okay. Um, don't my neighbor did this uh, years and years ago. He didn't want his kid to stick his fingers in the uh, on the, on the stove. So he took his fingers and he stuck it on the fire and burned him. That's not what God does. Okay. Um, he would be a schizophrenic God because Jesus came to give us life and the sin results in death and so he's not a schizophrenic god he says when eve okay so when eve ate the fruit she discovered three things she said that the, she was deceived and she saw that the tree was good for food it was pleasant to the eyes and it was desirable to make one wise i gotta sneeze hang on <laughs> i got this cold air on me and when i get cold air circulating sometimes it makes me sneeze um Okay, uh, okay. so the fruit produced after its kind, which was death. So death resulted in the earth. Um, Satan is the ruler of this world. 
the little God of this world, John 14, 30. Now that was our title. We are God's kids, God's sons. So we are, we are supposed to be the God of this world or the landlord, the owner of this world, not Satan. Now remember, like, like my pastor says, I believe, uh, Kirby, Kirby and Fiona says a little monkey is still a baby of a monkey is still a monkey. Okay. We are God's kids. Okay. Um, how did Satan get to be ruler of the earth? Uh, by deceiving us and taking our, our position. Okay. He's the master of death. Okay. We ate from the tree of death, which he created, which he owned, and we produced death. Okay, and the wages of sin is death. It says the whole world lays under the sway of the wicked one. And he says you are, when someone said something, he says you are the devil, the father of lies, whatever. So that was 1 John five nineteen. The whole world, that means the knowledge in the world too. Now, I'm not saying anything but against knowledge. I'm just saying what we do is we tend to, and, and I do the same thing. I eat green smoothies and I try to eat healthy according to the knowledge that's on the earth. And that's good, but what happens if you're in a foreign country and you can't eat healthy water, you can't eat a green smoothie, and you have to eat what they offer you, then you have to, excuse me, you have to use the knowledge of God and life in you and produce life in you. And I'm going to talk in one of these chapters about praying over our food, it's, it's transformation, transforming information. But, okay, so anyway, um... Jesus said that the enemy is coming and has nothing in me. In other words, the seed of the devil from eating from the tree of life is not in Jesus. He's incorruptible and he's a new seed. That's why we have to be born again. And um, by born again, you're born from above. You are a new creation, a new creation, a new bloodline and so on. So Jesus is the only thing in the whole world that was not touched by the seed of death. And in him is the life cycle. And in the world is the death cycle. Luke 8, 11 says, um, 8, 11 and Galatians 3, 13 talks about how Jesus is the seed. So Jesus came as a seed, but the reason for the seed is to produce many more fruit. Inside every fruit is seed and Jesus is incorruptible seed. And inside of him is more life-giving seed, which is in us. Okay. So unplug from the matrix. Stop accepting things that are everyday life as life because they are death. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Here's another example from the tree of life. You can, like, I like to play ice hockey. I love ice hockey. And I spend hours practicing and taking lessons and stuff. But I also spent time visualizing me playing hockey and what I would do if this happened and that happened. And I also spent time, um, believing that Jesus knows how to play ice hockey so he can download into me some skills and and strength and training and so on and if you think that's strange or weird or funny uh, or you want to make fun of it think about this when Noah built the ark there wasn't no water around there wasn't no water where he was building an ark he had no knowledge he had no direction he had nothing but yet God showed him dropped into his spirit how to build an ark um, when they built the temple, he dropped into their spirit how to make the jewelry for the temple, the gold and the skill. And the Bible specifically talks about how he put it in them, how to do this. So I'm believing he can put into me whatever skill I want. And of course, I'm going to practice. I want, I, I, I just believe that we, that the death cycle is spending 700 hours practicing something when you can you only have time for 30 of those hours and the rest is you just believe and trust god so um that is actually the end of chapter two so <clears throat> next chapter is my other favorite chapter the life and death cycle oh it's so good i can't wait to do it <laughs> but i probably will wait till tomorrow or later on some other time to do it so that was chapter two um if you want to get the free um the book as a PDF file, you can go to robinbremer.net, the underscore supernatural underscore transforming underscore power underscore of underscore communion. Okay. 
and I'll put the link up here after I'm all done with the uh, video. I'll put the link up here so that you can download the book for free, a PDF file. Don't sell it. You can give it away free. Right now, I do not have it on KDP Select as a free Kindle book because I can't legally give away my book as a PDF file um, when I do that. So I'm holding off on doing that till after the coronavirus is gone. And then I will put it on KDP Select. And if you are paying for KDP Select, you can get it for free. But right now, you can get the PDF for free. Okay, And I want to bless the community to know about the power of communion, about the life and death cycle, and how we are accepting things as normal. Um, so like my glasses, I'm believing God that it's going to, my eyes are going to get better and better and better and better and stronger, not the death cycle. You need stronger and stronger and stronger glasses. So the community that sells glasses makes more money because they want you to get your eyes examined every year and then get a stronger glasses. No, I'm not going in that direction. Um, while I will wear glasses cause I'm not going to go around, you know, not seeing good. I am believing God for change. And so you can do the same thing with whatever death cycle you have accepted as normal. And um, you can stand, like if you have diabetes or cancer or whatever, change your eating, change your eating, change your eating, change your eating. Um, I have my other book there that talks about toxics and cancer and diabetes and all that stuff is caused by what we put in our body. It is all can be healed naturally and uh, with all kinds of stuff. Okay. Anyway, um, if you are a Christian and you have a book that has to get published that you want it out there or you want it promoted, go to my website. That's what I do for $399. I publish books and most of my books that I publish for other people for $399 are, um, supernatural, walking in the supernatural things of God. So go to my website, check it out. Um, I do family friendly books. I do books about other things too, just as long as it's not about the occult or the devil or you know what i mean um sex 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 books or whatever um i also probably will do another live video maybe in a few minutes about um the coronavirus and q and um just how you get educated excited and doing some your own research so that was my commercial robinbremer.net and please please share this we need people's eyes to be open let them get the free books on my website. I have four free books there. You can download as a PDF file. And then on your KDP Select, I also have free books that you can download. I'm going to try to have uh, free books every month until this stuff is gone because people are in isolation. They don't have nothing to do. I am blessed. I live on the top of a mount, side of a mountain ridge, small one, with five acres. So I have so much work to do, writing books, um, everything. It's uh, uh, cleaning up doing my schooling, um, learning about my young living essential oils, uh, planting my garden, um, my greenhouse, everything. It, it's so busy. So anyway, um, I probably will share a little bit about Q after I get a whole bunch of links up for you to do some research. And I think I'm going to make it interactive. I was kind of chicken this time because I don't really know much about it. But stay tuned. I'm going to come back on and I'm going to do a video on... Um, how to research and all about Q. And remember to share this with your social media sites, your groups, and your friends. Love you guys. Um, if you want to say something to me in the, this video, you have to put my name there. Um, I might not see it otherwise because this goes around to a couple thousand people um, and it kind of gets lost. Um, you can also Facebook message me if, if you you know need to. Um, and I will answer you. I might not answer or click like on your comments but i read all the comments i try to click like and respond it's kind of hard sometimes so forgive me if i if i don't you know respond to you i i pray for y'all as the lord leads and everything so have a blessed day and i will be back in a few minutes and um share about um coronavirus what i've learned links you can do research on and i'm going to make it interactive and i'm not quite sure what that means um, but we're going to try that and go for that. So love y'all. Oh, God told me to always pray before I hung up. So father in Jesus name, I just pray for everybody who will see this video. Everyone who's watching it live to be blessed in every way possible that you would give them a supernatural revelation about life, the life cycle and the death cycle and that they would no longer accept the death cycle as normal and acceptable, but their eyes would be open to the truth. And their eyes will be open to the awesome, amazing truth of how fun you are 
and communion and the power and that they would take communion. And um, I got mine right here, <laughs> bread. I just do bread or seeds and just regular water, nothing special because it's Jesus that's special, him. So you can take communion at home. You can take communion anywhere, anytime. You don't need a priest. You don't need a pastor. You don't, you just, you and Jesus, you and Jesus. Okay, love you all. Talk to you later. Bye.